Again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery with a 12 inch by 24 inch canvas. And I just did a 10 by 20 inch canvas in a vertical and this is a horizontal and I want to do escape. I have mixed up a little pan of dioxazine purple, two shades of silver, probably one is from Modern Masters and one is from, um, <laughs> who knows, probably Arteza. And I am going to give my edges and my top a quick coating so that I have something that's partially covering my edges before I get there later on. And I don't think it matters if I make a slight mess at all. And things get blended a little bit, that's fine also. I'm just trying to get rid of the matte black canvas. And I don't want the same color all the way down the side. And I did splatter and it doesn't matter. <laughs> and I wasn't trying to be a poet. <laughs> Although I was. So let's just do something similar to what I did the last time. And give myself some... That's a neatest white metallic with some... Um, Venetian blue, just a very small amount in there. That's my Anita's white metallic. This is the dioxazine purple. This is a Grumbacher or otherwise Prussian blue. I am thinking I'm going to use, I want some lighter purple. So I'm going to put some of my favorite color shifting purple flash from Folk Art in the middle and indulge myself. What I did the last time was use some silver and I really liked how it blended everything together and it made a very nice dramatic sky. So now, go away. So now I'm going to move my torch out of my way and hope that there's enough gas left in it. It's lasted like six months. It's the most economical thing that you can do. Butane has never worked well for me. I went through five torches. Now, I kept trying to straighten out my lines last time and I don't want to do that. I want something organic looking with striations in it. And I want to hope that I cleaned my the blade of my spatula well enough, but it looks like I kind of missed something. So let's grab those somethings. UFOs in my sky. Come here, thing. It's not cooperating. I like these tweezers that are on my Amazon. Like that one's in the canvas um, because they, they're so sharp that they will pull a dog hair out of a canvas. I think if I turn this around and stroke this other way, I'll probably be happy with that. I want a more copious amount of paint along my edge. Because the edges are what give me a problem. But the answer to that is really usually that you could just put a frame on it. Whatever that is, if that's the thing that's in my canvas, and it is, hopefully the flow troll will level around it. You're always going to have the potential to have some issue with canvas. I want that to be a lot more organic. So let's just do that. Let's try one more time get whatever that is. And the colors don't automatically blend, but when they, the blending they do do is beautiful.
Just going for happy place. Trying to avoid having too many weird things pop up and I'm not succeeding in that very well at all. But I'm getting closer. And I'm learning to embrace my strange little marks in my sky. Because I don't really see that there's going to be much choice in the long run. And skies are never straight anyway, but this is a problem child today. You probably cannot see them, but they are glaringly obvious to me. So I'm going to give it one more try and get on with it. I think that's fairly decent. And I will just run my spatula backwards along the top because that will help knock any paint off. And then I can run my finger along again and help blend that right into what was already there. And it'll probably be fairly good camouflage. And use up my residuals right down the side, which is, oh, this pipe's perfect. Now, what I did the last time was use silver along my horizon line, but I wound up using purple in the end. So I'm going to try and remember that now. I'm going to use the Prussian blue also. may not be the ocean scene. I was trying for the ocean scene in the last one. But I used all this paint to create a base to put more paint on. To swipe. But you can see that if you like this, I'll show you now, you could just keep doing just that and you would have a super simple scape. Landscape, seascape, whatever. I'm going to throw some of my mysterious right down at the bottom because I love that color and I hoard it so much that I don't use it and I'd like to use some of it now my only issue at this point is that I need something along my bottom edge. But the reality is I'm planning a swipe. And I might want some green up there. One of these times I'm just going to say, nope, not swiping. <laughs> but I'm swiping with a spatula, so it would still be called a swipe anyway. I really want to just drop Drop my uh, my black and my golden. All my colors and swipe with a spatula. I'm gonna try and be good. But I am gonna drop a little black in there this time. And I liked how the green looked the last time and the green is right there. And I don't mind the Prussian blue in there because it's nice and dark and it's not black. A little silver never hurt anybody either. I'm looking for the copper again. I want some odd shapes and I seem to have a really hard time making the odd shapes that I desire the most. I think I threw a little white in the last time. So let's just grab that card and use the Amsterdam black that has the pre-stained wood conditioner added into it as my first go. I just want to go down from the bottom.
because I'm still looking to make layers. And I think I'm going to grab my little swipe card. I'm going to throw a little bit more gold in there. I don't think I threw any of this yellow in. I'm trying to find another color that I hadn't used so far, and the only thing I'm coming up with is a little turquoise wouldn't hurt anything, I guess. Plus, I have some colors. Dropped my card. Let's just put those in place right now. And come back again. Oh, look, I have a moon in the sky. <laughs> Unplanned moon. And if it doesn't turn green, I'll be all set. I'm going to knock off the paint off my card. Right under the edge of my canvas. expecting the moon to show up in this one, but that's pretty cool. I like that little gap right there to fill in. Sometimes when the paint is rejected from a canvas, it stays that way. I see something that I need to pull out. I'll just call it a comet. There's actually three pieces of it. So they're just UFOs playing a game. So that's okay. I'm not unhappy with that. I'm still thinking if I want to put some trees in, and I kind of do. I'm not sure where I was going to put this card right now. I made some rocks. <laughs> Break up those interesting lines. Throw a little more some something something right down there. I think that's pretty cool. I'm not sure about the North Star over here. <laughs> Usually, if I'm lucky. I can make small things disappear by just rolling a skewer. I should probably torch. I should torch and show you guys and then I should decide if I'm going to do anything about trees. That turquoise is a rather interesting, outstanding. It makes it interesting though. I wonder if the moon will stay. <laughs> Let's torch. Release the bubbles caught in the sky. And have a quick check of the sky. Which is actually looking fairly well across fairly good across the edges. Although I really would like to. Oh, that's a really simple, neat way to make clouds, by the way. As long as you don't spit into the painting. And if you're using silver in your sky, it might be kind of neat. I got the spit before it dropped. So I've got a few clouds. I didn't get that one. Here's my... But if you're quick, just the corner of a paper towel. And a clean straw.
Clouds on a moonlit night. I like it. I like it a lot. I'm going to be fixing up my bottom for a while. I'm going to show you guys real quick. And then I'm going to decide if there's going to be some trees in there. And I don't think I need a lot of trees. Rip off my spatula and put it in the bucket so the paint doesn't dry on there. I'm going to use, I think, the tip of a palette knife dipped into some black. As long as I have some black to dip it into. I know I could also probably put a few spirals in there. That's kind of pretty. I like it. So I might as well do it to all of them. And that helped me get rid of some of the things that were bugging me in the sky too. This is the dull end of the skewer, and it probably has some paint on it. And I can also blow out the hard edge, edge ends of the clouds. That little moon needs to be blown out too. We'll just figure that it's a partial moon. It is no longer a round moon, but that is okay with me. And I could probably put some clouds over it. So I'm just dipping the blade of my skewer in there. Excuse me, that's a palette knife. tempted to see what will happen if I blow on things. Basically it'll just change the configuration. So you guys are going to be caught in a second and I took too long messing around. But I want to tell you that there is a monthly drawing and the studio needs your support. And if you can't afford a painting, you could win a painting by making a donation through PayPal or Patreon. And you can see those icons on the bottom right hand corner of my YouTube channel banner. And you can see the prizes for any given month in, in, the, um, in the exhibition video. On the end screens of every video, I change them out every month. New exhibition video, new prizes. Sometimes they roll over, but not often. I might just spend a little time putting some more trees in after you're gone. So I want to tell you that I love you and that there's almost 93,000 subscribers to my channel. Oh, there, there is a comment. Cool. Huh? And uh, if you're brand new, please be welcomed. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. We'd love to have you. If you've been here for a while, you are dear, near and dear to my heart. Please give me a thumbs up. Please like my videos. Please share my videos. Let me move that down someplace that I can even zoom into part of it. Let's put it right down here. I'll be checking my edges after this. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to keep right on going with that. Look at those cells. I don't know if I can move this sideways or not, but the cells are really nice. The clouds are pretty cool too. You guys, I want you to take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Check out my Amazon link on the, on the link tree, the first blue link under the video, where you can find Facebook groups and Pinterest and Instagram and Twitter and my web page and uh, check out the community board for tomorrow's video. Give me, give me questions. If you need answers, I'll give, I'll give it my best shot. The Amazon link has my two books because I can and unlimited possibilities. And uh, I appreciate you guys shopping there because it's at no added cost to you, but it helps me out. Thank you guys for all the donations that helped keep me painting all this time. And thank you more so 